So we're not completely and utterly confined to the log. If we wanted to add some other items, we can do. If we wanted to add some items from the audio wall, then we can just click on the audio wall. This track is still playing out here. Absolutely fine. It's just still playing. And uh, if we wanted to, we could go to jingles and there would be nothing stopping us dragging this down, dropping it in there. We could have a listen to it on pre-fade and then we could play that into our item. We could go back to our log. We could stick a red at the end. And then what we could do is wait for this song to, to finish playing and then jump in with the Simon Hurst, which we've added separately from the audio wall with a drag and drop. In fact, let, let's do that. Let's move along. So we uh, drag that one along. It's got a red at the end. Gives us a warning that the song is running out. We'll, we'll open our faders. So that's the end of the track, and then we can just fire uh, off, fire off our promo. So that's our promo playing now, and so this is completely off our log, pulled in from the audio wall. And then when this promo has finished, we can just go back to our normal log. So we can make sure that we've got our fader one open. This one's finishing. Simon Hurst on Hot FM, Radio 24-7. Then we can hit the go button. And then we're back to our normal uh, station log output. So that's just dragging something in completely separately from the audio wall. You can also uh, do that from the instant carts, also from the library. If you wanted to have a look at your songs, there's nothing stopping you dragging it down into there. You can also... Instead of just dragging it straight down into a car play, you could drag it into the log so that it's officially recognised. So this Endless Love track, we can click on Log and, we, and see the black bar here. Wherever we release it, that's where it's going to stick it into the log. So we've now added that in. In fact, if we wanted that to be next, well, we could do a swap, actually. So we'll click on this and we'll click on Swap and we'll swap it with this Dry Sweeper. So we click on that and those two have now swapped over. So Endless Love is going to play next after the Sugar Babes. We're going to stick a uh, green on the end of that and then that way it will play back to back for us. And you can see it's queued it up. Endless Love, Lionel Richie. So that's uh, from the database. Also from the audio wall, you can highlight that, drag it in, absolutely the same thing. And we can say, no, we want that bit to be next and then the Lionel Richie track. So uh, you're not stuck to whatever's in the log. You can drag stuff in from the audio wall, from the library. You can also drag it in from the instant carts as well. You select it and drag it down and drag it into the log and uh, bingo, there it goes straight away. So we're in live assist mode at the moment and we've got an overrun. So we've got live assist. If we actually were to stick these onto red, so these are going to finish at the end of that. But if we change to auto, what it's going to do is going to change those red items to green because auto is basically I'm going to play everything that's in my list back to back with no gaps uh, and I'm just going to churn through and play whatever I've got. So that's auto. And then auto fade, you can see at the moment we've still got this overrun of 36 seconds. If we click on auto fade, then that overrun has gone down to zero. And what it's actually going to do is it's fade in uh, the sugar babes red dress by 10 seconds in order to capture that and because that song fades that's what it's done for songs that end it doesn't uh, drop those unless it's the last song in the hour but uh, it's also faded off you can see here the last song here it's uh, faded a few seconds so auto fade it is uh, either dropped or has faded some songs early in order to hit the end of the hour so that's the, they are really the main differences. So if we go back to Live Assist here, click on Home. If we were to uh, undel undelete these, so that we've got a huge overrun. And if we go back to Auto Fade, then it's uh, deleted out whatever it fancies, uh, either faded things early if need be. You can see here it's really faded this last song here. Um, Again, you can set that in the uh, in the rules as to how badly it uh, di it will shrink the songs and fade them early, so that you don't end up with only a few seconds of the last track playing. So uh, that's merrily going through uh, its merry way in auto fade hour, 
and uh, that will then hit the end of the hour OK. So they are the main methods. And that's also the dashboard explained up there now, next and later and the log here. So you can left click and drag things around in the log so if we wanted Brittany, left click and drag, see the black bar here. You also have the ability to um, highlight multiple items. So I'm just uh, highlighted these three here. We can do right click and we can do cut. And we can uh, go down in the log and we can say right click and paste. And then it moves those items down in the log. So we have much more control over the log. So again, highlight a couple of items. We could do a copy this time, go down to here. We want them in between these dry sweepers and click on paste. And then it's stuck those two in again. So we've got a copy of those. So that's uh, that's in that's if you highlight a, a couple of things, you've got cut, copy, paste, swap, delete, jump to section and uh, jump to selection and clear selection as well. So uh, that way we can uh, remove those various other methods of uh, doing bits and pieces here. You can uh, edit the items. There's our cut, copy and paste. We can change the items ending type so we can say stop this one at the end. Um, we need to go back into live assist mode for it to be able to stop that. So we can go there, stop at the end and that puts a red at the item at the end of the item. We can uh, change what type the uh, item is. We can see this is a music one here. We can move the log item to the next to play. So if we wanted that one next, you could just click on that and it moves it up to the top. Uh, on the item here, we can insert a log item. So we can insert a cart, we can find a cart, or we can jump to a specific cart number. So if we uh, wanted to insert this mixed sweeper here, mixed sweeper one, then we can uh, double click on it and it will stick that into our log. We can insert a cart as a sweeper, so a dry sweeper, stick that one in and we can see that it's inserted it as a dry sweeper because we've now got this yellow um, plus, which means that it's going to play it over the intro of the song. So that's down as a dry sweeper and a sweeper over the top. We go back here, we can insert a link. So that brings up all of our links from our library. And so we could click on there. We could say, oh, we want a promo, double click there, sticks in a promo. It works the, the same for a song. It will bring up our song database. Auto hook. If we've got some uh, hooks set for our songs, then we can say make up a uh, hook collection of the three items, the next three items. Um, just within this hour, we can say have a cart number that we start with, a separating cart number and an end number. That will then make up a nice little uh, useful promo to say what's coming up in our hour. So that's the auto hook. A command, we can add in a command. We don't actually have any commands set here. So a command could be absolutely anything. Again, commands are dealt with in the manual. Could be loading up the weather, for example, from a notepad file. Hardware event, if you've got a PCI 1750 or some sort of IO card, then you can use that to trigger off a certain hardware event. Absolute time marker. So again, if you wanted to stick in the time marker at half past the hour that you wanted uh, Myriad to be able to count down to, then you can do that. And if it was in auto fade, then it would uh, fade songs and uh, jump to them. Uh, you can also do a reset time. This is a new feature in version four, and it is designed for if you have perhaps a speech heavy station. And uh, so you, you will never schedule an hour's worth of music within your hour but you also need to hit hard posts within the hour that's the reset time function um, let's let's add that in and I'll show you how it works so we can insert a time and we can say uh, let's say we've got something that we want to do specifically at 1140 so we've added a reset time marker here and you can see um, actually if we drag that down a little bit more to just before Britney Spears and Toxic. You can see that we've got our clock items down the left hand side here. And so it's saying that this one will play at 11, 40 and 59 seconds. But after our reset time, you can see that the start time resets back to uh, the 
whatever we've set here back to 1140. And uh, what we can see down here at the bottom, it tells us that we've got um, basically five minutes and 11 seconds too much of audio before we're going to hit our 1140 reset time marker. If we were to go in there and I'll just uh, soft delete these songs, you can see the gap is going down. And now you can see we've got a gap of uh, an Basically, it's an underrun of two minutes and six seconds. So if we were really wanting to try and keep time and go to specific parts of the log at specific times, then the reset time is really, really handy for something like that. We still have uh, an, over, an overview of the whole uh, overrun or underrun of the hour up the top here. But uh, that's the reset time, so that's showing you a gap here in time so again really really handy if you're maybe a more speech heavy station and but you've got still got to hit posts during that hour so that's the reset time that you can get to advert break and a script text item so if you wanted to add some items say in here don't forget to promo breakfast you can add some web notes and some dab notes here as well if you wanted to and just click on save and then your script item goes in there you can uh, double click on it here and it will bring up the show notes or once you're actually onto it then uh, it will show those up once you're once you've done that so say we've moved that in there and uh, we've moved on and we've played this track and we've done our mix sweeper and it's moved on from our next sweeper we've done our promo here so we're doing our promo for breakfast yeah don't forget the breakfast is back tomorrow in the meantime here's uh, super mode and tell me why once we've done that we can actually tick it and put a little tick in there and then that uh, tells the program controller that we've actually read that item out we've moved on to the next track and everything is good in the world so that's the script text item so that's everything that you see in insert uh, replace replaces the item rather than adds delete here you've got the ability to the, do the soft delete a restore from anything that you've deleted and delete permanently that's the same as dragging into the bin some advanced log items you can choose whether or not the item can be dropped or whether it can be faded you can lock the item you can see more information on the specific uh, log item that's currently playing at the moment or the one that the one that we've actually highlighted tells you when it was last played and also a few other bits and pieces what category it's in and length etc and how you've categorized it um, and so if we go there you can queue up no more than three hooked items in a hook player you can preview the log items hook preview the extra and preview the log item in general so this next track here so we wanted to preview Brittany we can highlight on Brittany you can right click and do preview log item you can see here it now goes into preview which means that we're able to hit and play play the item and it doesn't affect this would just be on pre-fade it won't affect this track here uh, it won't fade it or anything like that and then when we've actually want Britney to play for real we can use this proper version and that you see that when we click on play here it fades out super mode and starts uh, our Britney track off so that's the benefit with preview allows us to uh, do it on pre-fade and not affect the log so that's the preview you can also preview the logs extra time in there as well you can see it's gone preview so we can then listen to this on pre-fade and see how the song ends plays the last three seconds of the track so I think that's all the items that you got here on the right click on the, the log and uh, a lot of them are also over here on the left hand side and uh, that is the main overview of the log.